That Man and His Manga. Hello and welcome to That Man. This is, well it's an anime related thing. It's been some time since my last anime related haul and to be honest I actually haven't bought a huge amount of titles. There are about five titles here, one of which is one that I've dreamt of owning for a long time so I'm really excited to show this one off. So without further ado let's have a look at the titles I bought in August slash September. First up we have Mobile Suit Gundam Iron Blooded Orphans Part 2. That's episodes 26 to 50. Now I have actually been watching this as I picked them up. Uh, uh, Gundam's weird because it's like Gundam I've got to be in the right mood for it and it's one that's very difficult to actually sit and just binge an entire series but Iron Blood Orphans I feel like I managed that. I really did. I I was last week I was only on uh, the first part of it and then I kind of just binged the entire rest of it. I think I'm on the last disc now. I don't know if the, the disc's in, but uh, yeah, I'm definitely on the last disc, so I should have that finished tonight. Uh, maybe I'll do a review on it someday, but I would see if you ever want to get into Gundam and you can't get into the original Mobile Suit Gundam, this one is another fantastic one to try and get into with. It's really good. That's it, it's really good. But yeah, it's, it's one that I'm really excited to finish off because of the last few episodes have just been so incredibly hype. So originally I did pick up the collector's edition for this last month, but obviously that comes in two parts. Yeah, I buy part one and then this is part two. So it all goes together in one glorious haul. Actually, I believe this came with an art book, but yeah, I haven't got the art book with us at the moment. So, oh well. Next up is more Gundam and this time we have Mobile Suit Gundam Unicorn. This one is absolutely fantastic. I haven't opened this particular volume yet, but this one I watched not so long ago on Netflix and oh my god, it is easily the top tier of Gundam, at least for me. Um, I just love everything about it. I love I love the way the story was, it was composed. I, the, the soundtrack is just so incredibly good. Um, I believe the soundtrack is the same person who did uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X, um, Premiere and Attack on Titan. So if you like the soundtracks to them, you will get a lot of good time out of this. But I'm really looking forward to getting into Mobile Suit Gundam Unicorn. I think out of all the Gundam series, I'm going to go through this one next after I've finished Iron Blood Orphans. Um, I'm going to actually watch the remaining Blu-rays that I picked up before maybe going and buying into Gundam because, yeah. But then again, Mobile Suit Gundam Turn A. Turn A Gundam is actually up for pre-order which is supposed to be coming out in a few weeks time so that's kind of got me a little bit scared as well because I kind of feel like I need to uh, keep on top of the Gundam because otherwise it ends up as one really complicated um, hard to get into mess. I have what was the old 86 or 83 I've got as well so yeah a lot of Gundam to watch but for me that's always something good. Next up we have Bartender. Now this was a blind buy. Uh, Anime Limited hyped this up earlier in this year and you know what? I hadn't even heard of it. I believe it's a, it's a bit of an older series now but I'd never heard of it myself. So I was hyped up because it basically it sounds like it's going to be similar to the game Valhalla or VA11 Hall A in which Characters go to this spa and they have uh, these discussions with the bartender and he serves them drinks and tries to fix their problems and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that, that kind of that, that's one of the things I really like about anime is that you can have all these different ones. But this that that just sounded so appealing to me, and I really like the way that they put together the collector's edition with this one. So you actually get some. of the coasters but you also get some cocktail recipes as well which yeah um, maybe I'll try that have them sometimes I don't really drink cocktails much but it's something that uh, I don't know I just thought that was a fun little inclusion to have with it as well as obviously of course I mean the coasters they're not really anything, they're just like bits of card. They're not going to last 
spill a drink on that, that's then ruined, so I'm not going to use them. And we get the usual discs, which, yeah, enough said with that one. But yeah, it, 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 I don't know, I, I, like I said, I don't know anything about this series, really. It, like I said, I just went off the synopsis. Oh, there's even more rare quarters. So yeah, I don't really know much about this series. I, I just went off the recommendation to blind buy, but I feel like it's so, so just by the synopsis, it was something that I would really get into later on. And yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, watching it and having my drinks with my uh, courses that... Like I said, these aren't going to cost anything, they're just cheap little things. Might have been better, I could have done with a little bit, maybe potentially thicker, but I'm not going to particularly worry about them. They were just, like I said, I buy the stuff for the release rather than the extra stuff in there. But the extra stuff is always nice. Next up is another slightly blind buy. I did watch episode one uh, a, few, uh, a few years ago. It was actually just last year. Was it even this year? Um, I don't know, it was it was some time ago of Copcraft. I really enjoyed episodes, actually after what, episode 1 and 2. Um, if you are reading the Shonen Jump series Hard Boiled Cop and Dolphin, this is very similar in which the, uh, it's obviously a buddy cop series in which the um, the other one is an elf. Yeah, so it's just like an elf princess or something like that. And I really enjoyed it. It is created by, or it's written by, the same person who wrote Full Metal Panic and A Marky Brilliant Pack. So if you guys know me well, you know that I am all over that kind of thing. I love Shoji Gato's work and I was really excited to see this one. This one came out really quickly. I, I, it was one of those series where I looked at it and I was just like, yeah, they'll never release that on there, on Blu-ray or anything like that. And then they did. So I, I'm really glad that Manga UK started pulling their finger out in order to get some of these series out. Like I said, I haven't watched this one yet. I think I'm going to watch this straight after Iron Blood Orphans because I, I know it's a shorter one and... I don't want to be that person who buys stuff and just doesn't watch them. Or maybe I'll watch Bartender. Mm, one of the two. Then again, I've got something else. The, the, the next one is something that's really exciting for me. So it's, this is the problem. I get all these I get these Blu-rays and I'm so excited to watch them. But it's like I'm halfway through another series when everyone drops. So it's like I'm always kind of like, oh, well, I, um, I'll watch something. But to be honest, I can probably get through these two and in about a week, if that. So I'm not too worried about falling behind in it. It's from... Well, I see in my childhood, I think it's about 20 years old. I remember watching it a lot of time on Fox Kids. It used to air after Digimon or maybe before Digimon. And in between was Creon Shin Chan. And this series is Metabots. That's right. Holy Metaroli. Disco Tech finally and released this um, late last year and it went out of stock so quickly I couldn't find a copy anywhere and finally I went and bit the bullet by buying um, a copy of, from United Publications I think they had it reduced down in I think I bought it about May time but they didn't have any stock due to COVID and all of that stuff but I, I really really was hyped for it so I was just like oh just keep the order um, it's not going to come in stock anywhere else and then it arrived a few weeks ago so I'm really looking forward to going back into this now this is the first season there is a second season so I'm thinking once I start watching this I might pick up the second season maybe on PD so I expect to see that in the next um, haul or two depending on availability but this was like I said this was one of the ones that really got me into anime like years ago it was it's kind kind of like pokemon it was kind of that 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 same collect them all mentality that pokemon did but this one is fighting robots and if you win you can take a like an arm or a head or some bits of the robots and combine them together um i really enjoyed the grpg game that they released a long time ago I have really fond memories. I think it was like that was like 2002, 2003 on the Game Boy Advance. Um, I have fond memories of a summer just sitting playing that and never finishing it. And they re-released it on the Wii U and then I bought it and just barely played it. Um, re-released it again on the Switch and I will happily buy it because it was a fantastic uh, game. But Metaboss, like I said, it's just one of those ones. It was really nostalgic for me so I'm really happy to finally own it. It's, I never thought any time that I would be able to own all of Metabots ever. 
but yeah that's that's me for um this month uh what have you been guys been picking up and is there anything on here which you uh, would uh, you're interested in or whatever let me know in the comments and i will see you next time thank you for coming and thanks again for staying goodbye